Hey everybody, this is Coffee Chug, and I am here with a one-month review of how my bullet journal operated and worked and did not work for me in the month of January. And so I just wanted to kind of quickly recap um, my things as we make way for February. Um, so you can see right away one of the things that I need to kind of go back and backlog is I did not do a very good job with the index, and I don't know, to me it just didn't seem needed. But this would be important to do uh, maybe at the end of each month just to kind of log where I've been on my journey so I can find things down the road. Um, one of the things that I, I did with my January goals, obviously I made kind of monthly goals here um, in my plan um, and I was able to accomplish um, three, I guess, of the eight. Um, I lost 15 pounds through health and exercise and fitness. I did not skip any workouts, which kind of go hand in hand. And I polish up and clean up a bunch of presentations that I have going for me. Um, I tried to make a goal of 10,000 words on a book. It just wasn't possible. I just scratched out because it's just not going to be possible next month either. So I had to be honest with myself and let it go. But these other ones are just things that I want to be able to do that I think I'm going to get done in February. Um, just do some online courses. One of the goals for February is to pick one topic and each day learn one new thing about that topic. Um, then I've made my February goals. Wet pink of the Valentine's. So obviously I have another uh, weight and fitness goal here. Uh, my monthly learning is a 3D CAD book that I just purchased. So I'm going to study that every day and uh, create my learning. Um, Tremendous Teacher PD I'm developing. I'd like to get that done this month. Didn't get it done in January. Have it done in it. Um, but I this month so I can launch in beta and just see how it goes. Um, then the Skillshare and, and Udemy online courses are obviously will go to 3D CAD. And then do more blogging. So I put 10 boxes so I can cross off, make sure I get 10 blog posts in this month. Um, over here was just something that was probably the most successful of the entire journal, was I just documented um, my weight each day, the days that I did my running, how many miles, my biking, my core workouts, and then my rest days. And then here I tried to document, trying to reduce my adult beverages um, and I was trying to get see what my longest streak was without doing that because I know that I need to improve on that. Um, and it just allowed me to see that there's a great correlation between good habits and bad habits. Um, so usually where my rest days are, usually there was a higher increase in um, my adult beverage intake. Um, so just working on that to not be able to hide from the truth that's there. Um, these are just some things that I've been working on for my own self things. My goals, I still need to decorate and spruce up, but they just seem kind of out of touch at this point because the year is just underway. This here was really, really important. Um, I read the book Super Better, which you haven't read, is a great read. And I wanted to document my life and the amount of energy that I have that I use and, and energy that gets drained. So I tried to like create this gamification little graphic. It's not perfect, but it's pixels the best I can do. And I try to keep track this month of what are the things that I do or things that happen that give me energy. What are the things that I do that are just neutral, they don't really give me energy nor take it away. And then what are those energy sucks, those drains that just take it away. And so as things went on and I, and I kept noting these things, that I made notes. Now I'm going to do this again um, next month and just start to see if there's trends or ideas and try to compile that. So then obviously the goal then moving forward in March would be to eliminate these things that drain my energy and increase the activities that give me energy. And so um, we've got one month of data. I do need to compile that. And I would like to do this, but add kind of like what I've done with this chart and, and make note of when these things happen so I can start to document where the occurrence is occurring. And the rest of this is uh, pretty straightforward. I showed this in the previous videos every day. I tried to document a story or something that happened in the day, kind of like a journal. Um, I was documenting my coffee intake, but I stopped doing that because I didn't really understand. It didn't really matter why. Um, what I found, I tried to create these chronodexes to document my time in the day. It just took way too much energy to make. And so I tried different methods and models. You can see that I tried to do create some different stuff. It just took too much effort. Uh, I felt like I was spending just as much time trying to document it as I was doing the actual activity, and that's not what it's about. Um, and so you can see I continue to try, but you can, it starts to fizzle out here, but I got to this point where I was just like, I'm done. Um, 
And so I try to come up with a word each day. And you can tell that the days where I did not plan properly, when I just tried to get up in the morning and put it together, those are the days I didn't even come up with words. And that was something that I noticed. Um, and the days that I did plan, I had the words that I kind of, and those days were more productive. The days that I knew what I wanted to do, I was very, very productive. And so this was key to me moving forward in February. What kind of system can I put in place that's going to allow me to have a goal when I wake up in the morning? Um, and so you can see some days are more thorough than others. Um, as I go through here, wrapping up the month, and this is where I'm at today, big to-do list for the weekend. I still got to document. So moving forward into February, um, as we go forth, I'll pick a new strand. I'm going to be working on different methods to block out chunks of time. So as opposed to maybe having these to-do lists where I got all these little things, you know, I was trying to get away from a to-do list, chunks of time where I put, you know, presentation work or fitness work um, and, and work on blocking my time as opposed to trying to rush through and X out boxes. I don't know how that's going to look. I, obviously, that's why it's blank, but that's where I'm at. Um, so one month into Bullet Journal, very helpful, very insightful in terms of helping me be more productive. Um, so I'd love to hear what worked for you, what didn't work for you. Insert strategies. If you're chunking time, how do you how do you manage that? How do you make that work? Um, because that's going to be my big goal uh, for February. Thank you. I hope this is uh, helpful. You got a glimpse into my bullet journal. And uh, looking forward for another productive and exciting February month.